All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Stella. And I'm Haley. And today we will be reacting to Insidious Chapter 2. Now, last time that we, I don't know, last time we watched <laughs> the Insidious uh, 1 movie, I think it was both of our first time seeing it through. And I was pleasantly surprised. Um, this one, I have seen a little bit of. I, I saw a little bit of, of it on TV when I was younger, but that's pretty much all I remember, and I'm pretty sure we're picking straight up where we leave off. So when we left off, oh, exciting. Josh, who is Patrick who Wilson, is Patrick Wilson. <laughs> we're going to call him Patrick Wilson. Patrick Wilson is potentially possessed by the ghost of like an old bride. So creepy stuff. We're a little worried because he does have, he's got two kids and a wife. So he killed the lady. On, he killed the old lady. He killed the um, old lady. <laughs> whatever her name is. So things are in bad shape. I'm pretty excited to just get into it, though. Uh, as always, the full-length reaction will be up on our Patreon, along with early access to Insidious Chapter 3, or I think maybe it's got a fancy name. It's like the last key or something. I don't know. But the third Insidious will be up for early access, so please go check that out. Um, if you're new here, please consider sticking around, because we'd love to have you guys. And with that out of the way, let's just get into Insidious Chapter 2. Hmm. Oh, so we're gonna get young yeah. Josh. Hi, I'm Elise. Oh, hey, Carl. <laughs> Carl told me on the phone, your son is the one affected, is that right? Who is Carl? Is this like his dad? But then does she know? Oh, uh, it's... Yeah, I know, it, the vibes I'm getting. The, oh no, it's not. Checks, man. Yeah. You no, know, it's not his dad, okay, I was like, He's the like another are... <laughs> paranormal <Yeah>. investigator. <laughs> I interviewed the boy. I'm afraid to. There's something in this house. Bro, if you're trying to be slick, you don't need to whisper like two feet away from her. Like, I know. <laughs> there is no point in whispering. You're in a silent room. Their poker faces are really terrible. Really bad, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Josh. I want you to just relax. We are now inside your dream. Are you alone? She's here. She visits me every night. Where is she? Right at this moment. Is she here? In this house with us? She's probably like right behind you or something, bro. We're gonna play a little game, Josh. I'll walk around the house. You tell me if I'm getting warmer or colder. I don't like this game. Nope. Cold. Why is the chandelier moving? Yeah, why is this house like Whoa. this? There's a lot of very interesting red lighting. I don't want to see the old lady again. But either way, she's not supposed to be able to like manifest in real life anyway. Yeah, but so she, I don't know. Uh, Elise can see things. Like she mm, saw the that's true. the demon from the last movie. Very hot. She's chilling in the closet waiting to pop out. And it's not a friend. It's a parasite. I thought it was just like a a lady. I'll show you. What? We're not gonna look and see what's in there. We just yeah, walk seriously. away. Do whatever you have to. Make him forget. Oh, chapter two. I was mm -hmm. like, I was like, where are we getting? When are we getting the 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 two? The second. Yeah. It's nice that we got like the main cast back for the sequel. I'm thinking because I did see some of the cast is different, so I'm wondering if if this is kind of like a flashback, flash forward type of thing where we're kind of seeing both young Josh and and present day Josh like back and forth. So our like uh, our Patrick Wilson Josh is just chilling in the further mm -hmm. now I guess. Yeah, well is he like his consciousness? I don't know, man. That'd be terrifying. The red door. Does that mean we're not done with our favorite demon friend yet? <laughs> I don't know. I believe that there was some sort of uh, supernatural force at work. Oh, are they she being interviewed? Cause uh, um. 
Elise is dead. Oh, when rip. Probably. What are we going to do if Josh is just in jail? This movie? Yeah. Tone. I'm right here. <gasps> what? Tone. Just so does she know now? I don't know. My husband isn't capable of killing anybody. I wouldn't. Oh Elise yeah, I was about to be like, she'll have marks on her neck. I'll let you know if forensics matches those marks to your husband. Do we think that there's any part of Josh left? Or is this like completely an act and she's just she's just like, give her that so. Oscar. Cause she's just Cause, that good of an actress. Yeah, cause I, do, I, do, I genuinely think like, cause you know, his like soul, I guess, was outside of his body that his entire physical body is now occupied by that crazy lady. Josh is still somewhere. Time for bed, boys. We're gonna be at Grandma's house for a little bit while the police work at our house. Get to stay in Daddy's old bedroom. Yikes. Did you see anything bad in here? No. And neither will you. Poor kid. I'm sure he's traumatized. Uh, uh, <laughs> I told you. This old lady has been like stalking what? Josh like his whole life, hasn't she? Yeah. Maybe that's why she knows how to act like him. <laughs> Maybe. Hey. <laughs> this cup phone is definitely gonna come into play later. Yeah, we're gonna be communicated with by something beyond the grave. Maybe Josh? <gasps> Maybe. Already. <laughs> I wonder if they're like gonna be haunted by Josh now. Oh. Right? You know? Cuz like I think what other what other entities would it be? I don't know. I don't really I I'll be honest, I don't remember or understand how the rules of ghosts and stuff <laughs> kind of work here. No, yeah, not a clue. It's a brand new universe, man. Anything could happen. Ghosts are like, we just want to make her walk up and down the stairs. <laughs> With the red stained glass light. Who has a stained glass window like that? Hmm. The door was definitely open. How did she get out? Still happening. I went into that place to get our son back and something evil followed me. Listen to me, nothing is gonna bother us. Not anymore. We have our son. Isn't that what we should be focusing on? How are you gonna focus on that when something threw your child out of her grave? <laughs> yeah, and also like even by your logic, fake Josh, something still followed you back, meaning you're not safe. Like it feels like a pretty simple equation. <gasps> Wait, are these the two, the two guys from the other movie? The two ghost hunter boys? Yeah. Lee Winnell and the other guy. <laughs> You'd think all the ghosts we've seen would somehow make me feel better that yeah. Elise is gone. Yeah, what do we do now that, like, we don't have Elise? She was the real expert. Mm. And that means it's gonna be even creepier, because it's all the people, exactly like, you like don't trust. Someone's. It's always nice when you have somebody in the movie that you, like, feel like is capable. Yeah. <sighs> Are they gonna get haunted, too? She never left the reading room unlocked. Ooh, hate that mannequin in the corner. I know. <laughs> yeah, why? I guess that's the mask that she would wear. You could just get a mannequin head, though. You don't need the whole body. Is this all the files? <gasps> you know what we're definitely gonna have to do at some point? Is, like, look through all the old footage. Find Josh's- Oh, literally They found already. it, yeah. <laughs> Josh, I'm a I hate- the quality of this. <laughs> it's a classic horror movie. So creepy. Move. I'll show you. Who the hell is he talking to? Right there. I I couldn't see anything. Okay. Asleep. <laughs> Burma. There's someone standing behind you. Hmm. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Oh, 
there's so much red lighting. What the heck? Yeah, it's because of this one stained glass window in their house that like nobody would ever have ever because it would make your house horrifying. At night too? Like <laughs> we still get that red lighting at night? <laughs> the moonlight, I guess. I don't know. What is up with this room? <gasps> now we're gonna go walk after it. Oh my gosh. Not the mirror shot. And the freaking curtain is moving. I know. <gasps> there was somebody Mom, in there is no one no. here. No. I don't need Renee hearing any of that stuff right now. Gaslighter. I know, he's gonna be gaslighting the two of them separately like, no, you didn't see anything. It's probably my imagination. <gasps> No! Get you didn't hallucinate a whole person. I'm sorry. I think she knows. I think she's just saying that to get him to dip. Mm -hmm. Daddy, what do you want for breakfast? I don't care. Oh. Poor kid. Had a bad dream. No! <laughs> Already? <laughs> I could see someone else in my room. Is this the same person though it looks like a different in the hallway bride i don't know i guess theoretically it could be the same one yeah i don't know how ghosts work in this movie who's daddy yeah i guess it's not the same is there something wrong with daddy mom i'm gonna take the boys to school why are you he standing rest? like that i know it's so menacing i wonder like what is this lady's, like, plans now that she has Josh's body, you know? I don't know, because she's been wa waiting an awfully long time to, to get it, and now what is she gonna do? Just wreak havoc, I guess? Whatever it was that was haunting my family, it's not done with us. Do you remember the first time Elise visited your house? Enlighten the image. Lorraine, is that Josh? How? <gasps> because time, time exists differently. In the thingy. We don't know. In the further. So he yeah. could have <laughs> talked to his former or his younger self. What? Yeah, because when it... he was in the further, he did encounter his younger self. I'll show you. He showed him where like the house was that he needed to find uh oh. Dalton. He said I'll show you and he pointed. Oh my gosh! It's all coming together. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I feel more <laughs> well, confused. that small, tiny part is. Oh. Uh-oh. Hello, detective. I told you I would inform you once I got... Uh-oh. So it's it's got to match. I mean, he did it. Do not match what? Oh. Because it wasn't... It must be the ghost, had her the hands. ghost hands. <sighs> Stupid baby bouncy cradle or carriage. Somewhere. What do you call it? I don't even know. Who is this lady? The last time there were all those ghosts is because there was a- they were all like looking for a body, like Dalton's body to inhabit. it. So like yeah. what's the deal now? Don't you dare! <laughs> Oh my gosh! Don't you kill me! Don't you dare! Oh my gosh! I didn't like that. I didn't like that sequence. I don't like babies getting hurt. I don't like when people yell. <laughs> Carl, I'm Spex. I'm the guy you, uh... Carl, oh, the guy. Whoa. Come in. From oh, the beginning. Carl. It's been a long time. Yeah. So what does he do? Because he's obviously not as, as good as Elise because he had to call in Elise as like backup. We have questions that need answering and the only person we could think of to ask is Elise. Help us contact her. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that probably is the best course of action. I ask questions and the spirits answer with the dice. Elise, we are calling out to you. It's like ghost Yahtzee. <laughs> Give us a sign that you can hear my voice. 
Are you here? That seems like an answer. Yes. Oh. We need to know who killed you. Are we sure that it's her? She did. No, I don't. I mean, there's no way to know for sure, is there? Could be technically whatever spirit. We are in her house, though. No, that's true. I mean... Does she want... I see it. K-I-L-L. -L. Who does she want to kill? Where is she? Knew we shouldn't have trusted that mannequin. Tell us where to find your killer. Lady Angles. What? Our Lady of the Angels. Is it like it's a hospital? Oh, it's a... What? I know because I used to work there. What Squeeze me? Ah. <laughs> uh. And now we have to explain, no, ex ex what? explore an abandoned hospital. Ghost. Hospital, of course, because we got to check all the boxes in this franchise. You're kidding. That's not a real toy. There's no way. What is it? Oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> but like, what information she, are we hoping to gain in here? What was in this room? Maybe, yeah. Uh... Should we do a pizza night tonight? Oh, there we go. I knew we were gonna get more flashbacks. How is he? He's still unresponsive. Don't. Uh, are you kidding the buttons, me? kid? <laughs> It looks pretty responsive to me. Yeah. I saw him again for the last time. <laughs> Parker, who do you? You should be resting. You shouldn't be out of bed. I wonder if he's dead. And she's like seeing. Maybe he's currently possessed with that spirit, and he like is gonna pass it off onto. Josh? Oh, interesting. Well, because they said he was unresponsive, which is like the same as how Dalton was, right? It was like comatose. Why is the patient from room 104 up and walking around? What do you mean? Oh, he died. He definitely <laughs> yeah, died. He's, You're, he's right. You're right. She's going to be like, oh, Parker Crean died 12 hours ago. That patient died yesterday morning. What? You called it. He jumped to his death. He jumped? Maybe they you're just right, let though. her know. They didn't like tell like, her. This was her patient, dude. Maybe you're right that he was possessed, and then mm -hmm. the spirit like sensed Josh. You're like, ooh, a better body. What is happening? Please no. Your dead soul is. Yeah. I want to live. Yeah, mother. Mother. Is that our man? It's a dress. There's something there. <laughs> Renee. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You're okay. He'd be like, you just had a bad dream. Mm -hmm. Gotta get out of the house. No, it's not the we house. You go. know that we've been through this before. They will follow us. You have to just not be afraid. You have to relax. All you have to do is ignore them, and they will go away. <laughs> He's like, dang it, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, that's what he's thinking. He's like, Mom, did you really have to play the piano right now? Right at this moment. Trying to make a point, trying to make a real <laughs> strong argument. You're, you're ruining my case. See, I told you. <laughs> What song was it playing? That's the song that's been playing. What are you talking about? You don't know that song? It's something Josh should know, I bet. It's my song. The song I wrote for you. Oh, oh, oh. Exposed. Well, it's not the song that we should be worried about. There's somebody in this house. 
The real Josh would never forget that song, girl. Oh. Follow your instincts. There's a reason, like, you've been suspicious of him this whole time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's like, Man, gonna go grab some ghost. bat. They left the window open. Smashes the window. Look, it's open. Do you feel something? That this house is not a place where many good things have happened. <laughs> Yikes. Wow. Upstairs. Ugh. I hate the POV shot. I really do. Yeah. This might be Parker Crane's bedroom. Nah, it seems a little girly for a boy's bedroom, don't you think? Wasn't he an old man, though? Like, yeah. I just feel like it's it's not that it seems too girly. It just seems, like, too young. <gasps> Dude, are you joking? Oh, sorry. Just, oh, my tummy got upset from that jump scare. <laughs> Ooh, that's a cool shot. That's interesting, but terrifying. No. Oh, I thought she was just going to keep turning her head. She's you. Mm-hmm. They were like, say less, bye! Are you serious? We just like, do not get a break in this movie. Not at all. I'm also oh. just surprised, so many different places. We've got ghosts in pretty much every place we've been, except, weirdly, the spooky hospital. No ghosts in the spooky hospital. I have something to show you. Stop, Foster. Does that sound like Foster? <laughs> Go to the closet. <gasps> this kid's braver than me. I would be screaming. Yeah, I'd be out of that room. Who are you? Oh, no, I <laughs> Who is that? Who the heck is this? Ew. No! Oh no, not He's again. He's actual projecting again! It's okay! It's okay! Oh Jesus. Oh, it's all ripped up. It's just a dream. It's just a dream. It's just a dream. It's not though, dude. Yeah, they all Not at oh, all. Oh my gosh. Man is just sitting, staring <laughs> angrily. Trying to reach her, but you won't. Not from over there. Oh. Wait, is somebody trying to like warn? Is your home now? Oh wait, no, it's Josh. I, it's, it's, I bet you it's Josh trying to reach Renee or whatever. Mm. Josh is playing the piano. Josh That's, is playing their song. Right. Help! Oh, you were literally called it from the beginning. You're like, Josh is gonna have to communicate as a ghost. Oh, Renee, please figure it out. Get him back. I miss old Josh. I miss real Josh. <laughs> Even though he low key, not the best in the first movie either. At least. He was, I feel like he grew though a little he did, bit. Yeah. And like, if he had come back normally at, at the end, it would have been like he would have been fine. What are we looking for? Is he gonna drop the chandelier on this guy? Oh my gosh! Wars. Latin for death. Be careful, Carl. This is the woman who was in my house. You're not Elise, are you? Was it never her? Or is it just not her now? Yeah, how did that work? So hmm. I'm a little confused. Oh. Mother Mortis. It's the mother of the one. Of Parker Crane. What? So then, okay, we have a lot of characters to jump. We have the little girl, yeah. the bride in white, the bride in black, and Parker Crane. I'm scared a hand's gonna like pop out. Yeah, it's like someone's gonna knock back. It's just darkness. 
Oh. I Is wonder there if there's a, like literal a, a body? dead body. I don't want to see the POV of the dead body. <gasps> oh. Oh. In the closet, they're like, we're all the ones that he killed. Like, literally, the victims. Uh, uh, oh! What? This is so much more disturbing than the first movie. On, like, all fronts so far. This is awful. These do not look nearly rotted enough, though. That's my problem. I feel like these should be more rotted. Because if Parker Crane died in, like, what, like, the 80s? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're lifting it up! <laughs> So Parker Crane was killing people on behalf of his mother, but was he doing that while he was a human? Or while, like, as a spirit? I don't, I'm, I don't know. I'm truly very confused. And who kills I'm a bunch confused. of people and lines them up like this in a pew? <laughs> True, it's really, it's very cult-like. And there are all those instruments too. It's not just about killing. There's something afterwards that they were trying to do. All right, exposition, please. Thank you. One of the victims managed to elude the killer. She described her attacker as an old woman dressed in a black wedding gown. Or he was really just a serial killer dressing up. Yeah, you know, I wonder if his, like, mom made him dress up as, like, a girl. Yeah, wait. Yeah. Because, like, maybe There's she something. wanted, like... She like wanted a daughter and made him pretend to be a girl. There's something he... And then oh, traumatic. My goodness. Interesting. Parker wore that dress to commit his murders. So the bride is actually Parker Crane. Well, for his mother because she forced him to. So oh. who's the little girl? He his childhood back. Josh is... isn't possessed by a woman at all. Josh is possessed- No, it's possessed by a man. By Parker. I wonder if that little girl they saw is Parker, and that's why they wouldn't show us the face, the face of the child. That, like maybe because like his I feel like maybe his up. mom made him dress yeah. up. I need to speak to you. We're Dalton and Foster. I just dropped him off at Jessica's. Ones are in danger. I'll explain, but not here, please. Let's just get in the car and go. Just get in the car. Get in the car and go. They're gone. It's go time. Okay. We'll hear everything. Code word is quesadilla. Or we could pick a pick a word that sounds normal in conversation. Quesadilla in conversation. It's lunch time. It's quesadilla time. Guys, it's guys, lunch time. It. It's quesadilla time. Tranquilizer. Oh, I'm wow, a bit scared okay. for Carl. Me too. I know you don't remember me, Josh. Tell me when you start experiencing some problems. I scared me so badly that I uh, reached out to Elise. Now Elise is gone. I, I was wondering if you could help give me some closure. Oh, creepy <laughs> smile. <laughs> oh, okay. He's looking so rough. I know, he's, his body is definitely like decaying. I'm like an FBI agent. <gasps> OTP. I like that there's been like no buildup at all, and then they at just, all. It's just decided to put him hand that on way the way knee. <laughs> like, ha ha ha, so funny. When Josh went into that other world, something else came back. We're going to try to sedate him, and when he's under, we're going to try to reach out to the real Josh. I wanted to ask you if you have any idea what happened to police. I don't know, and I What's came back. What's he looking at? Elise was dead. Oh, the tooth. She had been strangled. That's pretty horrific. Does he know that when a demon possesses a body, like, it starts to rot? When you were a boy, you said it was an old woman who haunted you. Did you see that same old woman when you were in that other world? I'm really so concerned for this man's safety. He's Carl. not. There's no, he, there's no way Carl is getting out. Say, would you like a drink? Glass of glass water. Uh, yes. Nobody I trust ever has started a sentence with the word say. I hate when people go, say, how do you? Because it just, it just screams like... I, I existed in the, the 1930s, the 1940s. <laughs> Say. Oh, this isn't gonna go well. Yeah, not a chance. You're literally looking so sus, bro. What you got there? Nothing. I thought maybe you were playing with your dice. Uh, <sighs> smile. Mother tells me you like to play with dice. Mother, Mother oh, he's not me. even pretending <laughs> now. Uh, 
<laughs> what have you got behind? Pulls out a huge knife. Why don't you ask your dice what I have behind my back? Mother tells me you were very good with them at the house. Mm hmm. Yeah, she came and warned him. Come on. The smile's off. Be fun. I know. How did they get. I, how does he do that? What is Parker Crane holding behind his back? Oh. Did he not know that he knew his identity? Knife! I knew it! She was always right. Shit! <laughs> oh, I forgot they can hear the conversation happening. I feel like they should have come a little bit earlier. I don't know. Wow. This old man's really holding his own. I was going to say, low key. You're doing really good, bro. He's gonna, is he going to... Oh, is he... oh, I thought he was going to inject him. <laughs> Quesadilla! One Come point. on, Specs. Are you kidding me? Oh, nice. Laser. Oh, tranquilizer. Are the other two, like, out for the count, though? We're three against one. This shouldn't be... What, Wait, what happened? What an incapable group of fellas. That was... <laughs> That was really tragic. <gasps> oh, are they dead? No, there's no way they're dead. It's, he's probably astral projecting. If you're here, I guess I don't have to ask where I am. He killed you. No, oh, he did. At least she's not here. Well, then we'll have to find her. Why is this man in the further? Is, isn't they say, like, that's where tortured souls go when they die? Like... Uh, maybe it's just unfinished business. Yeah. Hmm. What is it? There's someone standing in front of you. He's talking to you. What? What's he saying? He's got your baby. He's got your baby. He's got your baby. He's pointing at something. Ooh. Does he have to have no clothes on? Is that like a part of being a spirit that I missed? <laughs> This is the OG house. Coming from Callie's room. It was on the baby mom. Probably just interference. I don't know. I ran up here. I kind of like that the further exists outside of time. It gives them a lot. Like, this is. There's a lot of creative it ideas. It was Josh <gasps> banging at what? the door? Wait, this is really cool. Yeah, wait. Well, we already know how this turned out. Like, we know that but the maybe, baby's all right. But maybe Josh interfering is the reason. Gotcha. That Get away from her. everything's okay. Go to hell! Our favorite girl. She's back. Queen. <laughs> Queen Elise. Queen. She has a home where all her memories live from her life. Use those memories to draw her out of your vessels. To find her home. Only you know where that is. Hmm. Don't remember. Maybe we're asking the wrong Josh. What happened? I saw what Yeah, this is the... Not they're gonna go talk to him. And that's who he was talking to. I need to know where she lives. I'll show you. Oh, and then the door. Is that why it creaks open? Yeah. So that's what that was about. <laughs> Carl? It's a trap. I don't like that we're back in the real world. I'd be okay staying in the, the spirit the land. Hi, honey. <clears throat> Is everybody dead? To yourselves. Gotta be careful too, because you're still gonna hurt Josh's real body. Oh. 
honestly, oh. yeah, killing it, girl. Oh no, oh no. Ah! Ouch. Jessica, thank <laughs> you. No problem. See you tomorrow. Let's go, Foster. Are you kidding me? The timing could not be worse. She wanted me to kill you, but I said no. But now, I know she was right. Or better, if it distracts him. I don't know. You are a miserable, ungrateful bitch. Rude. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Dalton, MVP. My name is Yeah. Can she see them? How? How'd she do that? What? I can go into the dark and see my daddy if I go to sleep. And I promise I'll come. I promise. Wait, this is kind of cute. Like, first Josh had to go find him and now Dalton's gonna go find his dad. How the heck are you gonna fall asleep right now though? No, not a clue though. Maybe when you astral project, you can also like uh, fall asleep instantly or something. Yeah, or kind of like control it a little bit. I don't know. Destroy her, Josh! This is giving that one scene in The Nun. Yeah, actually. <laughs> Do we have to uncover each of them, like, individually? <laughs> they were still just passed out this whole time? I know, these two, like... <laughs> Always comes to the wall. Oh my gosh! Still laying there. Parker, help me destroy the memories of her. Open the door. No, oh, that's the person who was in. Yeah. Oh god. He tries his best. Is that how this works? In the further? You can kill someone in the further? With a rocking horse? <laughs> so wait, they had to destroy the memories of I wish I could take you with me. I the mother? But you can take Carl. To destroy Parker? I think when I hugged you, you're still alive. It's time to live again. Listen, but I- you both have to go now. We'll, we'll theorize at the end, because I'm- <laughs> This is not the most straightforward. I came to bring you home! Clever boy. Yeah, that's a really smart move. <laughs> He's like, why does my body hurt so much? <laughs> it's me. Daddy, you're back! Yeah, yeah. Like this poor family and like the trauma. I tried reaching you, I tried everything. I I I, I played your song. I should have known it was you. You only you could play it that badly. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it! <laughs> he slept through the whole final battle. Are you ready? Ready to forget once and for all. No more traveling, right? Yeah, so Carl survived. Good for you, bro. So then, close your eyes. Now take a deep breath. What's gonna be the, the cliffhanger set up the for the third movie for here? The cliffhanger for the next one. I have a message for you. It's about Allison. Are they setting up the next movie? We, we help people, ma'am. People who've been afflicted. <gasps> it's a Jenna, Jenna Ortega. Ortega. Are you kidding me? 
What? The lady standing behind them. Allison's accident was no accident. When she was resuscitated back to life at the hospital, she brought something back with her. Oh no. Allison. What? Who? I, I guess Was all they're doing is setting up the set up? third movie. Yeah. That didn't have anything to do with anything. No, all not right. at all. Well, that was Insidious Chapter 2. Um, hmm. It's not bad, but I think uh, the... Hmm. <laughs> Words. Yeah. I think the rules of the universe are just not as strong as they are in The Conjuring. Or at least like the first mm -hmm. couple. I think the rules really help me to follow what's going on here. And I'm sure like people in the comments can explain and be like, you missed this and it was obviously that. But like, at least for the first, or I'll say first and a half time viewing because I saw about half the movie before. <laughs> I Most of the time I only had like a vague concept of what they're trying to do. So I'm like, I know they're trying to find the mom who will call the the woman in white mm -hmm. but that destroying her like smashing her face in with a rocking horse somehow impacts parker's spirit inside josh, josh. in the real world yeah as if, like parker and his mother are like Connected. a combined force like we know that his mother was telling him to murder people but then also parker did that on his own when he got mm -hmm. older. Right? So I, I I I think like Parker was a murderer. Not as a child, no, obviously. Like as a child he went through trauma, but then like got older and did have a serial killer identity and persona. And that was him and not his mm -hmm. mother. So I'm confused. I mean I guess it makes sense that then after he dies, he'd come back back or stay as like an, a spirit with unfinished business and then that spirit gets attached to josh but like why josh anyways that's kind of confusing i i guess it has something to do with like when they met in the hospital because it's not like parker just randomly passed away after interacting yeah. with josh like they said he jumped um so maybe he saw like an opportunity or something maybe it's confusing maybe the third movie yeah. cleared up because i would say there are bits in this movie that like wrapped up plot threads from the first and mm -hmm. that i wasn't expecting so it's definitely like it seems like this was a franchise that was envisioned as an in, like as a whole not piece by oh, piece yeah. like it seems like they had an idea. so maybe there's stuff that'll kind of get cleared up although it does kind of look like the third movie is setting up this other family i i wonder because james wan only directed these two mm -hmm. so i wonder if it's just like his little vision is just these two stories yeah that is basically just one long story um yeah yeah, I mean, I have <laughs> I have high hopes for the third one. I don't know anything about it going in. Again, like, the only thing I remembered about seeing the second one is I remembered that hospital sequence, and I knew that there was the, the bride. Um, mm -hmm. And I think... I think I remember Parker. Like, the, the, the idea that he was raised, you know, made forced to put on, you know, wear feminine clothes and, and change his name and all that. So I feel like I vaguely remember that. Um, but I think from this point on, it's, like, all new, you know? Because, like, I knew, the things I knew about the first movie, I knew that there was that red demon from all the famous jump scares. I knew that the little, the little boy was in trouble. Like, but here on out, I have no idea. Are, do we still follow the same family? Are we going to jump to something else? Is there a new entity? Or, like, there's so many possibilities. And they, they're making five movies out of this. <laughs> It's true. There, There's the another one, one coming out. The fifth one is in the like the I think the fourth one has already been filmed and is coming out in like two years, a year or two. But they're like filming a fifth one. So the story is clearly not over. And I'm pretty sure um because I got the casting notice for the fifth one. I'm pretty sure it's like still Rose Byrne, still Patrick Wilson. So interesting. Oh, that is one thing I will say. This movie 
it gets props for me for giving Patrick Wilson some really fun acting opportunities. Yes. Like he got to play all these different like personas and that was a lot of fun. And he that creepy, creepy smile. I don't know if that Ugh. was like him or if it was partly the the like makeup, makeup they had on him, but it was so creepy. It was just like it was awful. Um Yeah, I <laughs> like that um because I feel like sometimes sequels um, they can kind of like stand alone a little bit. And I really yeah. liked that this one can't. Yeah, if that makes you've got it. I was going to say, even if I had finished this one when I was a child, I would not have known what was going on because I wasn't there for the first one. So like, I I really like how connected they are. Because um, it really does feel like one complete story told over two movies because yeah. we're picking up right where we left off. Like it, it really feels continuous, which is nice like it's it's like especially because we're watching this as a series Mm -hmm. and if anything i feel like that was the end of the conjuring part of what made me lose interest in like uh the nun and stuff is like a lack of connection um so i'm kind of like i don't care you know what i mean so if a movie's (laughs) gonna be if a movie's gonna be its own standalone part of the franchise it's got to have a really strong plot and whatever and these ones can kind of get by having a weaker plot i think because they're continuations because we're already invested in the characters just because of the amount of time we've dedicated to it so i think i think that kind of works in its favor and it it gives them some freedom to make bad choices (laughs) not to say i didn't i i enjoyed this movie it was entertaining and it was definitely that had there were some good scares but um i think when it's like one continuous story they don't have to worry too much about making each film stand alone really you know well yeah that's true i also think that like the movie suffers a lot specifically from its ending i feel like towards the beginning in the middle when we were kind of like connecting the dots and everything was like we were still trying to figure things out. It was really interesting and I was yeah. really enjoying it. But I don't think like, I just think that the way we defeated the villain is so stupid and yeah, it doesn't that, make any sense that we're just like, wait, what? <laughs> it really didn't. It felt I, I it, it felt like they, they needed to flesh out that ending sooner or at least start revealing things earlier so that they could have built a more solid ending. But it felt like I think most of the revelations in the film came within the last like 20 minutes. So mm-hmm. finding out about Parker's past and all this stuff, like that all came when they didn't have that much time. So I'm sure the writers were kind of like, oh, crap, we got to end gotta this wrap thing. this up. <laughs> so, but, you know, it's, it was all right. I'm just a little confused. And I would appreciate if anyone in the comments has like either theories or like they definitively know that this is what happened. This is what the story was. This is what they were trying to communicate. Let us know. Cause I think both Please. Haley and I are a little confused. <laughs> Just about the, the 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 rules. How did this work? How did this happen? How? Yeah. <laughs> so, yep. Yeah. Anyways, the full length reaction will be up on our Patreon, along with early access to Insidious Chapter Three or whatever it is called. Might not be called that, but Insidious Three. So please go check those out. Um, As always, thank you so much for joining us and watching. We really appreciate it. And if you're new here, please consider sticking around because we'd love to have you. And if you do decide to stick around, we will see you guys in the next reaction. (laughs) 